Hi there, Taurus. I'm Annette McKinley. This is Intuitive Astrology and Tarot by Annette. I'm here to do your love reading from now through the middle of January 2019. Happy New Year. And um, this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cusp. It is a general reading. You may or may not resonate with all of the messages here. Um, just keep an open mind whenever you're uh, watching tarot videos. Um, and so remember, the stories can be reversed or flipped around. Um, if you'd like to book a personal reading, the information is in the description box down below. Um, I want to remind you, if you live within the United States, phone readings are always your best option. Um, I try to save the email and Skype readings for people who live outside of the U.S., um, and if you're waiting for a reading from me, um, I am a week behind. I am swamped, and I do have to take breaks um, for my own well-being, and I don't work weekends or holidays. Uh, I don't do any private readings. I'm Obviously, I'm working. It's New Year's Eve, and I'm doing videos. So <laughs> that's the Capricorn moon in me, <laughs> that earth energy. So um, if you'd like to um, book a reading, again, the link to my website is below. Please like, share, subscribe, 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 and I welcome your positive comments and feedback. Again, this is a general love reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cusp through January 15th, 2019. We're going to grab uh, overall... Um, energy, what you need to be most aware of for the next couple of weeks out of the fortune deck. And I will be using the steampunk tarot as the main deck and uh, clarifying with my golden climped tarot that I just got thanks to subscriber donations. Thank you very much. Okay, so the stars a long journey brings rewards so there's some type of faded event that is going to take place it was written in the stars so let's see what is in the cards for you spirit please show me what taurus needs to know in their love lives and relationships from now through january 15th 2019 taurus sun moon rising venus and cusp please spirit messages for taurus's highest good thank you spirit Okay, your first message is Two of Cups off the bottom of the deck. So this is definitely a soulmate connection here. Possible twin flame. We'll see what else comes out. Eight of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles, and on the bottom you've got the Page of Swords with Ace of Cups, the Chariot, and the Knight of Cups. Put those off to the side. And um, you've got the Ten of Cups at the bottom. Very, very nice. Okay, so let me just see what this is about here. Just give me a minute while I figure out the story. So I feel some there's a love connection here, possibly involving a Cancer or a Scorpio or another Earth sign. We've got heavy Earth here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And a little bit of air, just a little bit of air. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, but I think it's more about communication. Um, I feel like somebody was being very immature and they might have been acting up. Somebody put somebody out in the cold and now they want to come back and now they want to work on it. 
They may have been spying or communicating in an immature way via text or email or just being very immature. Um, but there's a lot of love here. It is going to grow. Um, the page goes uh, to the night, but it's very flirty and romantic. Um, but I feel like there's an apology that was made. And um, the two of you are meant to be together. Um, so we've got the stars. A long journey brings rewards. So I feel like you guys are destined to be together. This You've been together a long time. You've been working very hard on this for a long time. There might have been a bump in the road because I've got the, the uh, Five of Pentacles here, Earth Sign Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is lack mentality, feeling like you're not good enough or you don't have enough. It could be making a financial recovery. Maybe there were some um, arguments about finances. Maybe one of you is in the school here with this page of pentacles. We've got two pages, the messengers of the tarot deck. So now someone is communicating and they want to, you know, offer something small but strong and stable. It's going to lead to something. Um, they're getting better with finances if they were having a hard time. Now they've been working really, really hard. Now they're making that money. Earth sign energy again, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You've got the two of cups here as the overall energy. And on the bottom of the deck, you have the Ten of Cups. So this is definitely a soulmate, divine partnership, twin flame union that was destined to be. And someone now is coming in offering their love and an apology. And you're going to get on the same page and move forward towards victory and success with the chariot here. Everybody's hopping in the chariot and off into the sunset. Together, You guys are yin and yang and you balance each other out. You could be dealing with a cancer or someone with cancer in their chart. And uh, someone might have had an emotional outburst here or was communicating and crying and being, you know, very emotional and lots of tears were shed. But this is also a gift from the universe that is abundant and outpouring of emotion and love. It can be a proposal, but it's the start of a new beginning in love that is possibly going to lead to marriage and happiness. This is your happily ever after card with the Ten of Cups. So lots of water here, lots of feeling, but there's also a lot of earth here. So this is a solid grounded connection. There's a lot of love and stability and security here. So let's go into the Golden Tarot of Klimt, my new deck. And we're going to clarify the stars for you, Taurus. Please clarify the stars for Taurus in love from now through January 15th, 2019. Happy New Year to my, my Tauruses out there. My true note is in Taurus, and I'm a Cancer Sun. Okay, Taurus. I also want to mention, Taurus, you are a fixed sign. Um, and stars, this is destiny and fate. It's fixed. This is faded. Um, if you're involved with a cancer, they are cardinal, which means they initiate and instigate change. So they force you to change, and that's how you two balance each other out like yin and yang. One is fixed. One constantly forces change. And that's what brings you two together because you ground your, your person. Um, if they're a cancer or another cardinal sign, um, you ground them and stabilize them. And they force you to change and see things in another way and get you out of your stubborn rut. Okay. 
stars are clarified with the um, Page of Swords again. So you're going to get, there is some communication that needed to happen. Fate and Destiny is at play, and I think if there hasn't been any communication, you're going to have communication, you're going to have that talk with your person to bring somebody in from out of the cold, and they probably want to offer an apology, maybe a small gift or token of their love, heartfelt gift, and tell you that they want to work on this connection. Why is the chariot here for Taurus? That is clarified with the King of Wands. So this could be someone with fire in their chart, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person takes action. So you have, you know, this, this king of wands, he's fiery passionate. He goes after what he wants. He might have a hissy fit and start crying and stomping his feet to get what he wants, but he gets what he wants and he goes after it. And he's very successful. This person might be an entrepreneur, a successful business owner or in a higher position, but they're very um, fiery and passionate. This person may also have um, lighter colored hair, like strawberry blonde, very light brown or red hair, um, fair complexion, lighter eyes, either blue eyes or brown eyes, but they go after what they want. Very fiery and passionate, they take control. Very much the boss person. They're in charge. They're the boss. So that is awesome. Okay, let's get three love oracle messages for you, Taurus. Can I get three love messages, please, Spirit, for Taurus? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cusp through January 15th, 2019. And if you'd like to book a personal reading, the link to my website is in the description box down below the video or on the home page of this channel. Also follow me on Instagram. It's at Tarot by Annette. Again, that information is in the description box. And uh, feel free to subscribe and uh, always check the community tab. I, I will post things in my community section too for my subscribers. Okay, so your first love message is sweetness. Patience is now required. Relax and enjoy the sweetness of life. Let the universe take care of the details. So yes, let go. Just enjoy. Enjoy life. Enjoy sweetness. If you're young, enjoy your youth. Be young. Have fun. Um, this person's a sweetheart to you. You know, don't try to control everything. Let let things take their natural course. And synchronicity and signs align to your desires. Notice signs and symbols for validation. So I think you've been getting some messages from the universe or your angels or guides. And uh, it's been happening since autumn. There are autumn leaves here. So I think um, things are started happening this, this past autumn. So pay attention. Destiny point, which path will you take? Follow your soul dreams or stay in your comfort zone? So again, with the stars here, this is destined and fated. The two of you are meant to be together. And you have to choose. Are you going to listen to your intuition and to where you're, you're being guided? Or, you know, or are you going to stay in your comfort zone and do what you've always done? You know, so that being said, have a happy new year, Taurus. Until next time, be the love, be the light. Take care. Bye.